Roger, I had a quick question from a viewer about the Z590 motherboards. Will a 10th gen CPU uh, give you PCIe 4.0 for your M.2? And, uh, you know, so I already know the answer to this, but uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, answer it in this video. So just so you know, most of the motherboards have um, at least one PCIe 4.0. This one says, you know, Hyper M.2 here. This is says Ultra, and I just wanted to show you that uh, right at the moment we have one in there. Um, in a second, I'll add a, another one in there. That's a EVO 980 Pro. Now this thing's booted up. You see that we are uh, at Windows, so that tells you that this drive works. It's got Windows on it. I want to put that drive in that spot where the Hyper one goes, and put the other drive in, and show you what it does. All right, so we have the EVO that has the operating system on it. We have basically a storage one. I'm going to go ahead and fire this up and let you guys see what uh, what it does on the screen. Alright, so it's fired up. There's ASRock. And, oh, BIOS, huh? So, unlike before where it went to Windows, it goes to the BIOS. Now, what do we have, folks? Well, bad news. 10th gen, uh, just so you can see it. i7 10700K. This is what you get, folks. There's your M.2s. It only recognizes the one, and that's the storage drive. Hence why it's only booting up the BIOS. When I had them swapped, the um, it did recognize the operating system. So this drive will not work with the 10th gen, in case you did not know. It's not going to work with the 10th gen. But it will work at the 11th gen. So, thanks for checking out the video. Hope you got something out of it. Please like, please subscribe. Thank you.